Here we go, back at it again. My brother just went and picked up this 63 Chevy C10, just like mine. It's got the small back window. We're gonna do a little work on it. Pretty much gonna keep it like it is, as far as the, the look. I'm gonna go and put rockers in it, get some of the bad rust out of it. Right down here. And we're gonna put a new bed in it too, Steve. A new bed, okay. Yeah, just put a bed, but leave all the rustic look okay. in it. You know, I wanna but, kinda get that look off of but it. But put the wood down inside the bed. Yeah, and we're gonna lower it and put a, put a nice set of rims on it. Okay. We'll get it down six you know, inches like mine. Just all this on here, and it's got the old straight, uh, straight six in it. There it is. You know? Got to do a little work on the master cylinder. The brakes there is having a little problems with it. The carburetor. Good truck. But it will fire up. It will run. Got the fog lights out on the front. That's straight bumper. You see right here. That's what we got to get fixed right there. The rockers. A little bit around that door. We'll just patch them up. That ain't original seat. We'll get a, no. Put a bench seat in there. And get that three speed out of the floor, put it back up in Put the, it back on the column. But yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty straight truck. So yeah, I'm, here's my old Chevy. Been in and out of a few car shows. Picked up a few plaques within the last, well, last summer anyway. Two or three this summer. But yeah, I'm still, still cruising. All right, we're going to get started on this. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do first. Probably fool with the brakes. Now, it ain't going to look like that. No. No, we don't, we don't, we don't want to spend all that we're time on that. All the rust, but to right on, yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep that old look to it. Yeah. Just drive it. We're going to get the brakes. That's probably what we're going to fool with real quick. Get these brakes going. Yeah. Just so we can drive it. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right, here we go. We got the hood off. A few other things. Got to take all the bolts out behind, around the fender. The front end, we got some bolts and stuff to take out from the bottom of the radiator. We're going to pop this bad boy off. It's going to be a lot easier to work around everything. Cab, coin, I mean the rockers and all that around front. Fenders. All right, I've got the bottom bolt out. This fender. Yeah, Steve is taking the uh, fenders off he's got all the bolts well all that's going to come off at the same time so what we're doing we're keep up with these shims we're going to take the uh, whole front off all at once so what steve has done he's he's taken all the bottom bolts off and got all the wiring unhooked that was here on the side he took it off right here you got to take these yeah, all this has got to come off, and then you got to take the wiring off your alternator. So we're fixing to lift it off. All right. All right, that's the stuff you got to keep up with right there. That's right. You got to know shims. that shim goes back. See, there's shims in behind each fender. Always keep up with all that stuff tagging. Okay. All, all the right. bolts are off. He's got all well, of his bolts. Get these ones up here so he keeps everything in one pail so he knows where they're going. So right now he's taking off some more side bolts. Well, look what a mess, man. We'll see if there's any shim behind that. I don't think there is. This is a 1963 Chevy. Found this truck in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Went and picked it up on the road. We're using the Jesse James tool set. All right, y'all have a good evening. What Steve has done, he's taken the You gotta take these 
radiator support bolts. Radiator support bolts on. That little, that little deal that bends over them. The and there's bolt. a small piece of metal that bends over to the bolt. Oh, here we go. That's it. He's got them. Let's spray some stuff on real quick so we get them off. Should have done sprayed it on there. <laughs> Be nice to have the air tools, but I'm okay. That one's off, dude. There we go. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. Look, go forward. Oh, it's a light. Pick them up. Now go forward. Coming out of it. Is that little piece right there? See it beside the steering column? That little piece beside the steering column? Sure is. Okay, well there we go. We got the front cap off. <clears throat> got room to work on these on these rockers. That shows me a little bit what's going on there now. So I know what I'm doing on that side. Right there. Alright. Well here we go. That's a big start right there. Didn't take too long. All right, I might get these doors off here real quick so I can get to them rockers. I'm gonna measure my doors in real quick. I'm gonna take a 3 16 drill bit, drill here and drill there so I can line that door back up <clears throat> when I go to put it back on. All right, what I'm gonna do is scratch this in where this hinge is. That's what I like doing right there. Gotta keep us in line when we go to take it off. Plus, I'm going to drill it anyway, not say that. All right. Go, All right. I need a 9 16 Scotty. Wrench. 9 16 wrench. Steve, you don't know what happened to You don't know what happened to that, do you? Oh, everything's real. They're, they're somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. Everything's miss, right I, I, I was missing these two. Oh, Okay. All right, here we go. Got the doors off. Everything's ready for the rockers. Whatever else we got to replace. Just lay that on the table right there. I'll get it. So, yeah, we're ready. We got parts laying everywhere. So, that's what we're looking at. All right, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all take it easy.